All right, let's go ahead and transfer these files from my Samsung Note 9 over to my Windows PC. Here's my Samsung Note 9, here are the files. I tend to prefer a copy and paste over to my Windows PC. Oh no, what's going on? A device attached to the system is not functioning? What is this? I've never encountered this before. This never happened before. Okay, so it looks like, did it transfer any of the files? It looks like it transferred three of these, but if you look carefully, these are one under one gig. See, see how it's megabytes? So the other two large files, it had a problem transferring. I've never had this problem uh, like about uh, three weeks ago. So as you can see, these two files are over about one gig. All right. So I actually tried switching out another USB cable. But unfortunately, that one says uh, use one that's compatible device. So obviously, that's not meant to transfer fast files. So I found a workaround to that. And keep in mind, I did restart my phone, restart my PC. I still had the same problems. So here is where you can actually click on the file. And then you can say share to my drive, which would be my Google Drive. Okay. And then, of course, you can also do the um, hotspot tethering or Samsung file sharing. That gets to be a little bit complicated, but those are the options. So here I already have two that's actually being shared, but because due to my parents' slow Wi-Fi, it's going to take a while. But this is one of the options, see? Now, if it was back home where I have um, fiber optic connectivity, this would be a lot faster. So two options are whether switch out a USB cable. It could be bits is faulty. Or you can do the link sharing. All right, let's go ahead and connect the data cable. First, I am just going to simply plug into my Note 9. Detected it. And now it's using a fast charging capability. Now comes the most important part. Will I encounter the same error message when I'm transferring my files? So here are the files I need to transfer over. Some of these are over 500 megabytes. So here we go. So far, so good. Data transfer seems to be faster than my other cable. And I usually, right around this mark, it would give me error. Oh, I can't believe it. So as you can see, this is evidence that changing the USB transfer cable can help because it can uh, so-called depreciate over time. You can either you try another USB port or mo most likely is the data transfer cable. So I'm very happy that they solved my problem because I didn't know what else to do because uploading files to my Google Drive using slow router takes forever. And I'm very happy that my problem has been finally solved. So I definitely highly recommend the Comdex fast charge USB-A to USB-C cable. If you don't want any more problems, go with a high quality cable.